Hey everyone, welcome to a video tutorial on how to do text masking in Canva. For those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Gabriel Carrillo, also known as EdTechBytes, host and creator of the EdTechBytes podcast, uh, self-proclaimed uh, EdTech and food junkie. So let's get right into text masking in Canva. All right, first thing we've got to do is to go ahead and open up Canva. And as you can see, I'm on Canva. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create a design. Do a real quick search for a phone wallpaper. Doesn't matter if you have Android or iOS. These will both work. Once I'm here, got my layout ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and look for elements. And for this particular project, I wanna do like a forest background. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick search for forest. Filter down to photos. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag that particular photo. I really like that one, it gets my attention. I like that view, like that top bottom look. Must be what, what a squirrel sees every day, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and kind of drag that out in Canva, make sure that it's touching both the top of that canvas and the bottom as well. Make sure that it's centered and I think we got it. Let's go ahead and click out of that. Next, what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and do a search for a frame and I wanna make sure I switch over to all and scroll down and I'm specifically looking for letters. So for this particular text mask, I'm gonna be using the word column. So if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the letters. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that C over, resize it. And this is something that is completely up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and align mine vertically on the left-hand side, uh, top to bottom. And you guys could do this however you want. However, just know that you do have to use those frames that contain uh, a photo. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna resize and I'm not gonna resize perfect. In other words, I'm not gonna make sure that every single letter is the exact same size because as you could see, like the L, if I was to actually put it to the right size, it kind of overpowers some of the other letters. It's a little bit larger. So instead, what I'd like to focus on is making sure that it's centered and that it is indeed kind of evenly spaced between the other letters. And the word that I'm spelling out, if I haven't already said so, is the word column. So let's go ahead and kind of move these around a little bit. Should probably make that one a little bit smaller. And let's go look for the letter M. Uh, uh, there we go, that works. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that letter M, move it around, do our resizing, do our thing. And then after this, we're gonna actually make that text mask happen. So I like the look of the letters over on the left, image on the right kind of like the rule of thirds. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and search for the exact same image that I used for my background. So doing a search for forest, going into the photos, there's that particular image. I now have to pull it into the letter C. And what I have to do here is I have to resize that picture so that it's exactly at the top and it hits the bottom of that particular frame. And once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and move that around until it is as perfectly um, layered on top of the background. And for this, what I like to do is I get as close as I possibly can. And then what I do is I, I kind of zoom in. See, so here I'm kind of pinching and zooming in and out. And I'm just gonna kind of drag it and get it as perfectly as possible. You might have to, oh, oh. I think I got it. I think I got it, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out. So the letter should disappear with that particular image. And I'm gonna repeat that exact same process, you know? Uh, what is it? Lather, rinse, repeat. Some of us don't necessarily have that issue. But do the same process, get it as close to as possible uh, to that background image. Um, this might mess with your eyes a little bit. So this is where I like to pinch in and zoom in. Resize. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, too far. Got it. All right. Let's go ahead. Mm, mm, mm. If you're OCD like me, this really bothers you. Let's get in there. And I had it. And I accidentally moved my finger. Come on. Come on, Creo. There we go. And as carefully as possible, let's click out of that. That way we don't mess that up. And lather, rinse, repeat. I don't know why I almost messed those words up and do the same thing for the each letter. And you might wanna practice this with uh, just one letter and maybe not a phrase or a statement 
or an entire paragraph uh, and just kind of play around with it, see what works best and uh, see what works best for you as far as backgrounds. Maybe you want a darker background um, and you'll see what I'm talking about when we actually wrap up. So let's get this last letter taken care of here. And once again, we're going to resize. Got it. Resize that bottom, grab that bottom corner, move it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Don't fail me now. Not quite there. Oh, there we go. Not too bad at all. Click out of it. There we go. And now the letters have disappeared. This is where the magic happens. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure that our letters are in fact there. I'm just kind of hovering my cursor over and now I'm clicking on that background image and I'm going to click edit image and I am going to turn the brightness down and look to see what happens. Oh, look at that. Um, I now have that text masking that you guys have probably seen in social media posts and things like that. And some of you might be thinking, I don't have expensive software. I can't make this necessarily happen on my computer or, uh, I, you know, I don't know how to do this. Um, that's a statement that you can now never say because I just showed you how to do this with Canva and I am using the free account. I do have a premium account with uh, another Gmail that I use, but for this particular one, I'm actually just using the free account and um, with that being said, I now have my wallpaper. It's here. It's ready to go. It's pretty from here. I can now take that image. I can transfer it to my phone and I now have my own personalized lock screen. And if you listen to episode 101 of the EdTech Bytes podcast, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about for this because it's all about my 12 words for 2022. Not one word, not that one word challenge, 12 words. And this is how I was able to create my lock screen for my phone for my 12 words of 2022. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel as well as the podcast. I've got more YouTube tutorials coming down the pipeline, so make sure that you have that notification on. That way you get notified when another video is updated or uploaded and also on the podcast. So with that being said, stay safe, take care, and buen provecho.